Welcome to the Fishing IT Guy with John Wilhelm. Welcome to Fishing IT Guy with John Wilhelm. Today I'm going to give you a crash course on how to use Spotlight Scan. Go to your structure page, menu, and if you're not viewing it, you're going to have to click the down button until it toggles to Spotlight. If you're uh, not seeing it, then you might want to check your input sources. Uh, for mine, it's on the bow. So it should be set to this unit. And I'm going to do some things real quick to uh, try and improve the quality of it. First thing I'm going to do is set it to 20 feet. Because if you see where I am, I'm only 20 foot from shore. So there's really no need to have it be further than 20 feet. Now, I just ran over this point. And this point is absolutely loaded with fish. I'm going kind of fast. You know, if I slow down and I do this a little slower, you can see all the fish sitting right on this point. Now, what I'm really concerned about here isn't how well does this image look. I am concerned about what I'm seeing, meaning everybody freaks out about the blurry stuff. Yep, mm -hmm. I understand. When you're manually stepping on a trolling motor pedal and twisting this thing, it leaves a little bit to be desired. However, if you look where I'm looking right now, there's a point. Okay? And I'm scanning that point to see what's on it. And if you look in the water column, okay, right underneath me, is nothing but fish, which that by itself is pretty awesome. And here's the difference between 800 and 455. Now you can see I'm looking at a hard shoreline, and that's showing up in bright white. See the stump? Right in the middle of the V is a stump. And there's some logs. Okay, they're just out to my left. Now the wind's blowing me a little bit. And as I redraw these, it's a little blurry. You see the big white spot in the water column? That's a humongous fish. There's one, two, three, four fish stacked. And I am approximately... I don't know, 10 foot off of shore. You can see the shoreline shows up as the bright white. What's behind it is nothing. Okay. What's directly below the V is the water column. And all the little dots in the water column are fish. So, now I'm actually standing on the trolling motor, producing this image while it's in motion. One of the things that you can do to get a better image is to let off the trolling motor and concentrate on spinning the trolling motor at a slow and even pace. Now, as you see behind what I'm looking at is a ridiculous amount of fish right there. So as far as fine-tuning it, for me, 800 kilohertz is the winner. Uh, surface clarity, 
I think that's depth dependent, so I'm going to actually try medium surface clarity and see if that changes the image at all. And I would have to say it does, but not for the better. Uh, I'm sitting against a hard rock shoreline here with some timber in it. And below me in the water column, it's very clean. But right there, it's not. So that's what I'm looking at. And that's what it looks like on spotlight scan. So you, it gets kind of blurry when you move fast. And with the <coughs> surface clarity on, that's uh, seemingly making it worse. So I'm going to sit right here in front of this big old brush pile. And we're going to take a look at what this looks like. There's a lot of rock. And a lot of wood in there. Try and draw it steady. So you can see all the different stages of all the timber. It's uh, steps down. Now I'm only out 25 foot, so that shows you right where the step is, which you can also see visually, but it helps to see what's underneath the water. I think it's very useful. I don't need to see 360 degrees. It doesn't really matter to me what's behind the boat to me. I've already been over it. So when you look at my picture, I'm only drawing my image from right there sometimes to right there. And I could really care less what's happening behind the boat. So now you can see right in front of me, there's logs. Now you gotta understand something. This visual that you're getting right now is because we're on a steep incline. This shore is very steep. It goes from that and it drops off just like that straight down to the bottom. So if I turn my data overlay on and show you what's up, edit overlay, get rid of that, save, so you can see them in 25 foot of water here. So when I scan this, uh, the expectation is that you're going to see something really cool. Well, you know what? When it drops off that fast, you're not going to see much of anything cool except for what's directly below the boat and in the water column. In this case, there's a lot of fish. And right there is a stump or a fish over. Actually, it looks like multiple fish over the bottom. So if I'm curious or I want to know, I can always do this. <coughs> I can take and do a side-by-side. -side. And... Clear this unit. I'm going to switch over to medium chirp. And then I can see my fish with chirp as well as with spotlight scan. So, right to the left of me is the end of that tree. And there it is on the spotlight scan. And there it is. And sonar, medium chirp. So with my trolling motor, I don't have a stabilizer that keeps it from spinning, which stinks. If you're going to use spotlight scan and the motor guide or any trolling motor, uh, apparently on the market there is a little device that you can stick in there to keep it from spinning around. I highly recommend that. Um, one, the spotlight scan seems to draw a pretty good image when it's left alone it seems to draw a worse image when you mess with it a lot so and that's because it's shooting out a signal and waiting for it to come back and then it's drawing its image based on the signal so you know like right now i want to redraw the signal i got the stick right in front of me and Now 
not start to show up. And you can see it coming right to the boat. And there it is. That's what that looks like. And you can also see what it looks like on chirp sonar. This is a really steep incline with some rock on it. And if I just scan it real quick and then slow it down, you can actually see the details of rock. I'm in 20, I've got mine set to 25 foot. And if you scan this nice and slow, you can see every single pebble. Which is pretty amazing. I mean, I'm not in a lot of water right here, so the fact that I can even scan this and see what's out to the right, and there's a rock there, and to the left, and there's a rock there. You know, there's a nice piece of structure right there, and there's fish all underneath the boat. Now, most of that's shad, and underneath of it, you're going to see the larger red belly bass. Now, I'm just doing a nice little 360 spin. You see a nice big fat fish down there in the bottom left-hand corner. Nice rock right off to your left. And up in the in front, you can see where it drops off into deeper water. And there's a nice little rock point here. I'm really close to shore. I'm only 15 foot off the shore. But I only have my spotlight scan zoomed out to 25 foot. You zoom out really far, you can see more stuff. That's true, okay? I got the 60 feet. Okay. You can see all kinds of stuff out at 60 foot. You lose a lot of detail, though. Okay. So, yes, I can see stumps in front of me. And I can see detail out to the right. There's a stump there. There's stumps in front of me. It gets harder to visualize them because... You have to take the time to draw the image, one. And two, if you're bouncing up and down at all, which I'm not right now, but if you're bouncing up and down, it's harder for this thing to draw a great image. But that black dot is a stump. Okay? All these black dots are stumps, which is pretty awesome. Because now, if I want to come in, you're going to see the quality change. Big stump, big stumps, big rocks, big stumps, big fish, okay? That's where the fish are gonna hold, right on those stumps, right on those rocks. If you wanna see a side-by-side, -side, you can draw your own page. You can go uh, structure and structure, and you can go save, and now you can see what it looks like in, in down scan and in spotlight scan. So now I'm actually coming up over a hump, which you can see right there behind me. And I'm scanning forward and now to the right of me. And that's where you have it. So if I go forward about 30 feet, you'll see the... Um, stomps on down scan. They're pretty worn down. There's one. There's some more. With some fish on them. So as I keep cruising forward, you'll see what I'm seeing on down scan. And then those stumps will become more, more evident in uh, down scan. Thanks for watching Fishing IT Guy with John Wilhelm. Have a great day.